I always find it interesting that the people who have benefited from affirmative action and those who have not been on the giving side of affirmative action, in other words, they've never had to lose an opportunity, an educational or a job opportunity because they're not a person of color, they, re they really don't have a problem with affirmative action. Affirmative action is discriminatory at its very core because the whole basis of the selection process is based on the color of your skin when it should be based on economic need. Now, affirmative action is an issue that I've thought about and, and worried about for many, many years, but let me summarize it this way. If you have a public institution, say a college, such as the college I went to, City College of New York, where you are responsible for educating the public, not just a part of the public, but the public, and as you are looking at your student population, if you find that there are some parts of the public who are not properly represented in your institution, shouldn't you do something about that? Don't you have an obligation to do something about it? You don't have an obligation to bring in anybody who is not able to do the work. You should always have qualifications. But once you have established those qualifications, is there something wrong with a taxpayer-funded institution not making sure that it is representing the entire public, the entire population. And I think that's a good rule for private institutions as well. Call it affirmative action, call it diversity, goes under lots of different names.